What's going on, it's the Rap Nerd, and I just got out of seeing Godzilla and Kong. This is a direct sequel to Godzilla vs. Kong, for those wondering what the connectivity is between this and the MonsterVerse. It's a direct sequel, and in this film, there's a new threat that rises that brings together Godzilla and Kong to face in order to save the world. Now, that is a pretty run-of-the-mill synopsis but that's what you get with this film what you see in the trailer is exactly what you get and I was pretty entertained I will say that um, it this is more along the lines of what Godzilla vs Kong did where it's mostly the kaijus doing their thing with human stuff you know sprinkled throughout and if you were a really big fan of that movie you'll be a big fan of this movie I find entertainment in these movies period because when you have kaijus on screen fighting I'm entertained by that, you know, so there's no stretch of the imagination here when it comes to that. The action with the kaijus is definitely ramped up. I mean, there's a lot of fights in this film involving the creatures and different types of creatures because you spend a lot more time in Hollow Earth, which is a whole different type of visual than what we've got from the other movies in totality. So this movie has definitely has stuff to be liked about it and it separates itself from Godzilla vs. Kong because it goes places that the last films didn't. And I enjoyed that. Like, like this movie feels like Kong Allen but just expanded upon and weirder. And it's, it delves deeper into the sci-fi elements in regards to that type of thing. We see different creatures, we see crystals uh, bursting from the ground, we see the sky being a different color. It was entertaining, you know what I mean? As far as the, the humans thing, like they are with a lot of the American Godzilla films, eh. Well, personally speaking, I really enjoy the first Godzilla because it's more of like a drama slash creature feature horror type film. So I love the first Godzilla and I really love King of Monsters as well because I feel like the balance there with the humans, it worked to me personally. I know based on the box office, people didn't care for that, but I liked where the humans were in, in the first two films. And, and they managed to kind of just shred that down and just give you the kaiju action. And Godzilla v Kong to me was a little bit too much like non-human stuff because I feel like there's pieces missing from that story. Whereas here, you're given enough to actually give you a concept of how things came to be and why the humans are there. Though I will say there's a lot of convenient things as far as things being where they need to be. Uh, every character in here is just smart as hell. I mean like scientific intellect smart as hell where they just are able to put things together without much of any information being given. They just kind of look at things and go, oh that's how that's going to happen. Oh if we do this, this is going to happen. And you kind of got to lend yourself to that. I was in the theater like how... So everybody is just like a, 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 a space um, kaiju architect or some shit. Like, that. how do y'all formulate these opinions? Like, I mean, one, one guy is literally a kaiju veterinarian. It's just like, okay, you know, you just roll with it. Like, the movie really just feels like a cartoon almost. Like a Saturday morning cartoon of Godzilla, Kong, and a whole bunch of kaijus just fighting and doing all this crazy stuff. So if, if that does sound appealing to you and you like Godzilla vs. Kong, because I kind of look at that movie a little bit in the same light, you will love this film, and, and at the minimum, you'll be entertained, because again, you can't help but see Godzilla and Kong fighting. And in this movie, Kong gets most of the screen time. Godzilla is around, but he isn't really given a whole lot to do. You know, he's kind of you played as like the big gun of the situation in this movie, whereas Kong is the one on the journey, finding out things, and you're with him the whole time. And I can't lie, this movie gave me a, 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 an even more respect for Kong. I always liked Kong, I was always Team Godzilla. But Kong was a gangster in this joint. Like, he did some things where I was like, ooh, Kong talking this shit. So I really enjoyed what they did with him here, even with uh, his modification. If you don't know what I mean, then just wait till you see what I'm talking about. But if you've seen the trailer, it's in the trailer, so that's not a spoiler. But, um, Overall, it was a, a standard blockbuster, I would say, that was entertaining at minimum. Um, I don't think it would be something that's very memorable, and it's definitely not on the level of um, what a lot of folks are saying about Godzilla Minus One. I haven't seen that film, but just based off of a lot of people's um, reviews and reception to it, I know that they said the character work in that film, the humans, is like what makes the movie the movie. This ain't that. It's just kind of you roll with it and you accept seeing big uh, monsters fighting on screen and that's that. So the, another thing about the film that 
you kind of lose is the scale. I mean, you, the, the scale obviously is there, but you don't get the same epic scale of these monsters until, um, I don't know, it's hard to explain. It, 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 the scope is, the attempt to make a huge scope is there, but because this is so far gone from being in the human world, the same scope doesn't exist when you're in this world of the hollow world, you know what I mean? Um, because everything is just, in that world is just huge as you saw at the end of Godzilla vs. Kong. So the scope isn't felt nearly as much as I would say the first two films. I'm trying to think, Godzilla v. Kong, what's the scale like in that? I guess that one kind of has scale, I, I don't know. I, like I said, my favorite ones are Godzilla and King of Monsters because to me, you could actually feel the scope, the grandioso of these larger than life kaijus at every turn. I think because this movie has the kaijus moving so fast and so quickly that you don't really get to soak in the scope. And I think even the way the movie's shot, you don't, it's fast paced moving like really, really fast. So you don't really get the moment to like kind of just sit there and be like, whoa, this is a big ass monster. And the film is also very dense. It gives you, and not dense in the sense of like complex script or whatever, but it just gives you a lot. It almost feels like two or three different movies packed in one. It is a lot. I don't know what the runtime is, but I could definitely feel it go on as I was watching it. But again, I came out having a good time. You know, it was entertaining as hell seeing on the big screen. And if you are a Godzilla and a Kong fan or a fan of Kaiju's, I do think that it's worth seeing in a theater on the big screen. So if you've seen. Godzilla and Kong, let me know what you think about it in the comments. Where do you think it ranks amongst, amongst the MonsterVerse? The video for ranking will be coming soon, so if you like this kind of content, make sure to like and subscribe, and if you already are subscribed, thank you, and until next time, peace.